Hi, it's Rebecca Macenter here. I know some of you have never even seen my face probably because usually Tarasi Macha messages are audio. And this is the first time I'm making a video message specifically for the women of Tarasi Macha and for the women around the world, whether they're on a WhatsApp chat or not, who have been davening for three years for my sister, Farina Esther Bas Yafa Gita, to have a Rafua Shlema. And there's, I want to share with you some, some thoughts and I wanted to do it in a video because because it's very close to me, it's very dear to me, and it's very personal right now. Um, many of you know that that physically Rina has not been doing well, but thanks to your tefillos, spiritually and so, uh, spirit, uh, her spirit and her emotions and her strength and the time that she's gotten is is truly a gift from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's, it's, it is due to your tefillos. Last night in Baltimore, Wednesday night, there was a kumzitz, a ladies kumzitz here for Rina. And many, many women came and it was really beautiful. There was beautiful singing, inspirational songs and uplifting songs and even happy songs. And uh, there was a beautiful energy there. And at the same time as there was a beautiful energy, there was also crying. And there were a lot of tissue boxes being passed around. And it was a hard night for some people maybe for everyone, and it, as much as it was a beautiful and uplifting, energizing and, and uplifting night also. And the question that I think some people, all of us may be grappling with is, how do I hold both at once? There's the, the, the joy of our time together now and happiness and trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Bitachon that he can do an absolute complete miracle and give every chola and chola in Kali Yisrael complete healing right away. And then there's also the sadness of life doesn't always go the way we want it to. And there are, there are progressions of diseases and it's very painful. It's very painful to, to be part of that and to watch it. And one of my children asked me recently two questions and I, I'm, I'd like to share with you what I shared with them. The first question was, what do I dive in for right now? I'm a little confused. I don't even know what I'm asking Hashem for. Like, am I asking for a complete miracle? Or am I supposed to just accept that that's not what he's doing right now and ask for other things, you know, for Rina Esther Bas Yafakita? And the second thing they asked is, is feeling sad, are feelings of sadness and grief contradictory to bitachon? If I am feeling pain over the way Hashem is making something play out in my life, does that mean I don't have enough bitachon that Hashem can fix it? That Hashem will fix it? And I think it's a it's a question that is universal to, to all of us, to our children. It's not just this one situation. So, so here's what I told him. I said two things. For the first question, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is kol yachol, and we daven for a refuah shlema. And every single tefillah that we give to Hashem is accepted and works wonders in this world. That doesn't mean to say that when we daven for our refuah shlema, Hashem always says, yes, I'm going to give it to you. But he does take that tefillah and he puts it wherever he wants it to go in his infinite knowledge and goodness. And so maybe that tefillah that doesn't go for a complete refuah shlema does go to give that person comfort, to give them strength, to give their family strength and comfort. Maybe that tefillah goes to make things a little bit more joyous for them, for their family. We don't know how Hashem takes the tefillos, but just because Hashem might say no to the specifics of what we're asking, doesn't mean he's saying no to our tefillah. He's taking our tefillah and he's using it for that person we're davening for and it is impacting that person and it is impacting that world. And we need to know that our tefillos are always answered, just not always the way we hope they should be or we want them to be. And that leads to the next question about grief, sadness, and bitachon. And there's a misunderstanding about what bitachon is. Because if bitachon is that if I trust in Hashem enough to bring a Yeshua, then he will do it. What you're really saying is, I have bitachon in myself. If I can work on my bitachon, if I can tap into the springs of bitachon, if I could only 
become a master of bitachon, then Hashem will do what I want. It's almost the opposite of bitachon. Bitachon is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I know you can do anything. And I, you know what I want you to do so very badly. But I know that you, in your infinite love and goodness and power, will do what you think is best. And I want to tell you that I am not abandoning my relationship with you no matter what you do. I'm here with you. You can't get rid of me, Hashem. And I don't want to get rid of you, and I don't want you to get rid of me. I may not like what you're giving me. It may hurt. It may be terribly, terribly painful. But we're a team. I'm putting my lot in with you, and I'm not letting go. So bitachon is not Hashem, do what I want. Bitachon is Hashem, you know what I want, and it hurts very, very, very much when you don't give it to me. But I still believe in you. I'm still here for a relationship with you. I'm not giving up on you and on me and on our bond together. And that is true bitachon. Not that Hashem will do what we want if we believe in Him, but that we accept with love what Hashem determines is best. And if you look into Hillim, you will see that having feelings of sadness, you know, saying, Hashem, where are you? I don't feel you right now. I'm weeping. My bed is soaked with tears, says David HaMalach. That's not contradictory to Bitachon. That is Bitachon. Hashem, you're hurting me so much right now. It hurts so much. But I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to turn to you. And I have trust and faith in you that in the big picture, in the grand scheme, probably in a world that I have no access to at this point in time, I understand that it's being done with love and it's being done for the ultimate good. But the way I see it right now, it doesn't look good. It looks hard. It looks painful. And that's okay. So I just wanted to share that. I don't know if it's for you, for your children, for now, for another time. Um, but I think I think it's important. It's been important for, for my family. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give us all Yeshua's and Nechama's and Refua's and a relationship with Hashem that no matter what, we feel Him. We feel that we're being held very, very tightly by Him. He's not letting go of us and that we can go through anything and everything because he's right with us. Have a good Shabbos.